Good morning. This is a floor plan concept of a single story house that I drew. And in this video, I'm going to go through how I drew it. I'm planning to model and draw this house in Revit. And this is a concept design that I found on Google somewhere. And I modified it a little bit. The plan for this drawing is to model this in Revit, apply building regulations to it, and create a set of construction documents for this building. The reason we're applying building regulations to it is because at some point we're going to submit this for planning approval and get it checked by an engineer as well. Either with this sketch or at some point in the future, with another concept. The goal of these videos is to create real plans that will actually work in real life. Meaning that I'm planning to create documents and get them checked out to see if we can actually build what we draw. I want to have a set of construction documents that can actually be used to build a house in real life. I just want to mention that the videos on this channel are for educational purposes. Don't just watch some YouTube videos and start building houses. You have to do things like get planning permission and comply with building regulations. Have your drawings checked by an engineer so that your house doesn't fall down. You need things like personal indemnity insurance and all that stuff. So don't watch this series and start doing building works without going through the proper route. I take no responsibility for your actions. This video and other videos in this series are for educational purposes only. By the end of this video series, the plan is that we'll learn how to create a full architectural project from start to finish. Now just to note, I'm an architectural technologist and not an architect. This is by choice. Although I do consider the appearance and the overall beauty of a building, I don't tend to explore the artistic side of architecture much. This channel is about understanding the science of architecture and making buildings work. That's what we architectural technologists do. However, I do want to develop myself a bit in the artistic representation of architecture. And so this is why I'm creating a concept plan in this video. I have specifically ordered some equipment so that I can get into drawing more and do videos like this. In this video, you'll see that I'm using a drawing board which comes with tools that really help to cut the drawing time down. I don't have to worry about getting the angles right when I measure and draw. Because the drawing board and its tools allow me to draw straight and angled lines all over the place with decent accuracy. The drawing board that I'm using in this video is not the best. It's a bit flimsy, but it's good enough for me to be able to draw concepts and create straight lines to a satisfactory degree of accuracy. I guess ultra-fine accuracy doesn't really matter in architectural concepts. The actual architectural concepts that I read in real life where well, we take them and use the layout to plan a building that will actually exist in real life. The architectural drawings that I've seen are never accurate or any good really. They're just like pictures which show you what goes where. They just give a general layout of the building. And we architectural technologists, we just have to make sure that the drawings we produce are within the building's proposed footprint and it works with the land that it's to be built on. By the way, if you'd like to buy any of the tools that I'm using in this video to create concept drawings effortlessly, I'll have links in the description below to the products that I've brought, or very similar products. You'll see later in the video that I have some architectural stencils which really, really helped me to draw all of the furniture in this plan. The stencils even have doors and sofas. These stencils are amazing. I'm really glad that someone actually invented these. I don't like to spend too much time trying to draw a perfectly accurate concept plan. And getting to use these stencils just to draw any furniture that I want is really cool. The stencils have toilets, doors, kitchen sinks with drying racks, you name it. It even has baths and sinks. There's separate parts on the stencils so you can actually draw the outline of the bathroom sink and draw the oval cavity inside along with the plug hole. You'll see me doing this later in the video. I can't express enough how frigging amazing these architectural stencils are. I'll get to more of the tools that I'm using in a bit, but right now 
I just want to talk about the concept plan that I'm drawing. The concept plan is of a single story house, a small house designed for one or two people, maybe one kid as well, if you can just about fit them somewhere. I just want to mention again that I found this plan on Google somewhere, so it's not my idea, but I have modified the design a bit while using the original as an inspiration. Why reinvent the wheel? This plan has an entrance porch, and as soon as you enter, on your left you see a coat hanger area. You can imagine yourself hanging your coat and maybe taking your shoes off. If you've just been shopping, you can enter the reception area and head straight for the kitchen to store all of your groceries. The kitchen countertop has a banquet-like seating area, probably too small for a couple, but you can imagine yourself seated here eating your breakfast on a Saturday morning. If you're married, your wife is cooking up an exciting breakfast meal, and while you're seated and eating, you can see your young lad kicking a ball in the garden from this door on the side. You're probably wondering where the kid sleeps in this small house. Well, that's easy. He sleeps in the storage area. It's nice and cozy in there. I'm joking. This small house is designed for two. I'm just saying, if you want a kid... No one's stopping you from rearranging the furniture as you please. Okay, moving on. We have a bathroom on the left, and these bathroom components were drawn using the stencils as you will later see. It looks like the bathroom has enough space for a shower. On the bottom left here, this floating detail, I tried to draw a sink and thought maybe it's too far from the toilet. So we can put a shower in this corner so that the couple that wants to live here can choose to bathe or shower as they wish. Probably should have added a window in here somewhere to encourage ventilation. Hmm. There is a ventilation section in the building regulations. If we're going to follow building regulations, we're going to have to satisfy that requirement too. This concept plan would probably fail building regulations compliance. There's no windows in the bedroom either. Note to self, add windows in the Revit model. Let's take this as a note for the future to put windows everywhere. Obviously, the concept I was using for inspiration wasn't very good. But hey, this series and this channel is all about drawing building plans that work. And making buildings work. So it's good. We have a case study to work on right here. We'll just pretend that some incompetent architect drew this. <coughs> It was me. <clears throat> Alright, so when you step out of the bathroom, you can walk by your kid's bedroom, I, I mean uh, storage room, and head into the bedroom. The room in which we can watch Netflix and relax as a couple. The bedroom has two side tables so that you can have a place to put your phones. And we have two wardrobes as you can see. One's for storing clothes in and... Uh, the other one's for playing hide-and-seek with your kid. Hey, who drew this wacky plan? This is why I don't like working with architects. <coughs> I drew it. Alright, well, after a good night's sleep, when you want to relax in the day, you can head out to the badly planned living room. I have the sofas facing the window and away from the wall. This isn't a great use of space, but... Hey, you can move furniture in real life as you please. These sofas are not bolted to the ground with a sign that says, Pay fine to release clamps on your sofas. I think it's better to put the three-seat sofa on this side facing away from the window so we can attach a TV to the wall. You can just imagine the cozy setting of a movie night with a few friends and pizzas. I would add a bookshelf to this room somewhere for those of us who like to relax to a cup of coffee and a good book. Okay, that's the general layout idea for the plan. A small house for two and maybe one kid. Some of the tools that I used in this drawing are the mechanical pencil that I'm using. I'm actually selling these on my website at technicaldraft.com forward slash shop. If you're interested in supporting this channel, you can purchase yourself an excellent and reliable mechanical pencil, which is used by the best here on YouTube. 
and it feels good to own and hold as a collector's item. Imagine, imagine you're explaining a concept to a client and they see you pointing at your concept plan with this sleek and elegant pencil. Do you know what kind of impression that's going to leave on the client? They're going to have good thoughts about you just because you're using a good looking pencil. Go and buy one and I'll ship it to you myself. I'm also using these fine line technical drawing pencils. They have a good number of sizes from 0.05mm to 0.8mm and two brush pens. A useful range. I'll try to include a link for this product in the description below. Also, I've ordered myself some alcohol based markers. And I've never used them before but I see many architects using them for concept drawings and the way they use them to express creative effects. I thought it would be good to use them on concepts. So, so I've ordered them and I'm waiting for them to arrive. We're going to use them in future concept drawing videos. I've seen the way architects use them for creative idea expression. I think that will be interesting. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember that we're going to draw and model this plan in Revit and apply building regulations and other things to it. I might do a hand-drawn 3D perspective sketch of this plan so that we can see what the building will look like or at least represent it so we can picture it somehow. I hope that those alcohol-based markers arrive soon because then I can use them in that drawing. If you're interested in technical drawings, architecture and making buildings work, then subscribe. Also go buy my pencils because they're really cool. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boys.